Every election is a choice, and the choice this election is more important than any we've ever faced. It is the latest ad by the anti-Trump Lincoln Project. America can choose to move forward or go backward to a time not long ago that almost broke us apart. And this ad, along with others from the Lincoln Project, are reportedly causing Donald Trump to explode. More on that in a moment. Have so many already forgotten what the Trump years were? Chaos. Corruption. Ugliness. Cruelty. Violence. A wrecked economy. And over a half a million dead Americans. That's the past that Trump's presidency brought. And it would be our future, too. 2024 is the final battle. He's worse than ever. Unstable and angry. Petty and cruel. Promising dictatorship Day one. and retribution. I am your warrior. I am your justice. Assuring his legions of unhinged fanatics that he is their instrument of vengeance. He's not even hiding it. And not one American can hide from it. This election is a choice. A choice between what has been and what could be. Mm, brilliant ad. It undercuts Trump, draws a clear distinction, and does it seriously. This is the second Lincoln Project ad in a row to use a straightforward approach instead of relying on humor or ridicule. A spot from a few days ago layered Trump's own words and promises under images of Nazi Germany. The result is terrifying and effective. Watch. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives. Third, we will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. Fourth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives. Fifth, we will move parts of the sprawling federal bureaucracy to new locations outside the Washington Swamp. The ad ends with, we've heard the kind of promises Donald Trump is making before, but last time they were in German. Brutal. Friends of Trump say that ad especially infuriated him, in part because Trump, on his father's side, has German roots. For years, Donald Trump denied the German ancestry, largely because of the American public's association with Nazism. So the link between Nazi Germany and Donald Trump's rhetoric hits him in a place where Trump has long been sensitive. By most accounts, Trump's anger in recent weeks has been volcanic. On the legal front, Trump has had a string of courtroom defeats. A jury in a civil case in New York ordered Trump to pay E. Jean Carroll $88 million for defamation. And Carroll then went on cable television ridiculing and emasculating Trump. Just no power. He had, he was zero. He's an emperor without clothes. It's like looking at nothing. It was like nothing. More recently, Trump got a huge setback on his efforts to delay or stop his federal criminal trials. So there is breaking news now from the federal appeals court that has now ruled that former President Donald Trump does not have immunity. This in the January 6th matter that deals directly with the special prosecutor, uh, Jack Smith. The decision marks the second time in as many months that judges have turned away Trump. That means that Trump's January 6th related trial will now move forward. Legal experts say a Trump appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court will inevitably be knocked down. The growing pressure on Trump seems to be weighing on him, as evidenced by a mountain of recent gaffes and verbal mistakes. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. He says, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. It's like he's looking to find it in his brain somewhere. Like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. He's confusing Nikki Haley for Nancy Pelosi as he's telling a lie yeah. about Nancy Pelosi. We won world wars out of forts, Fort Benning, Fort this, Fort that. But can you imagine you're a foreign dignity and you're coming into the United States? It's dignitary, not dignity. That's true, they don't go far, but it's certainly not uh, great for your climb, your climb, they call it climate. Climate? has never been referred to as climb. Obama dropped missiles and they ended up hitting a kindergarten or a school or the apartment house. A lot of people were killed. Well, 
If that's the case, he's going to end up being indicted when he leaves office. Obama's going to be indicted when he leaves office? Trump obviously meant Biden. But it's all raised questions about whether Donald Trump has dementia. And those assertions have also caused Trump to explode. Now, never mind Trump's anger management issues, his bigger problem with the Lincoln Project ads is that the data shows the ads are having an impact. The November general election is going to be decided by independent voters as well as party moderates. And the Lincoln ads, according to Rick Wilson and others looking at the analytics, seem to be persuading a larger number of those voters than ever. You know, we actually have an expanded range of voters who are responsive to an anti-Trump message than we did in 2020. In 2020, hmm. depending on the state, we model between 3 and 8% of Republican and independent-leaning conservative voters could be reached and moved by our message. In the, in the environment we're in now, where Trump is obviously insane, he's an adjudicated rapist, he is a guy who planned the coup to overthrow the U.S. election in the last time. He uh, helped kill a half a million people by fumbling COVID. And so we believe now the number is between 7 and 11 percent, depending on the state in our models. We think there's a larger audience now. It is important, though, that a key audience in America not normalize Trump anymore. And, and most mm -hmm. of those folks still in the media who treat this like it's, oh, it's a normal Republican and a normal Democrat fighting over normal things. It's not. It's one guy who is insane and dangerous and one guy who is old but doing a good job. Some of the media is making that distinction, and the Lincoln Project, of course, in earlier ads, has been highlighting and ridiculing Trump's insanity. An ominous, really an, an ominous country, and you do. Are you sure you don't have dementia? It runs in the family. Quote, the perverts and losers at the failed and once disbanded Lincoln Project and others are using AI, artificial intelligence, in their fake television commercials. The Lincoln Project says the Trump clips are genuine. Have you had a real doctor check you out? You keep confusing things. And we did with Obama. We won an election. Getting the facts wrong. We just left pleasure. Paradise. Yeah. Paradise. People laugh about it, about you, bing, bing, bing. even your own people behind your back. You're winning the primary, but losing your power, your strength, your manhood. Uh, Trump. Fake television commercials in order to make me look as bad and pathetic as crooked Joe Biden. Not an easy thing to do. Fox News should not run these ads, just as low-rating CNN and MSDNC will not under any circumstances run negative ads on Biden or the Democrats. Face it, Donald. You're just projecting when you call Joe Biden old. He's stronger than you, fitter than you, smarter than you, a better man and a better president. Anyone can see it. And when you lay there at night, alone, you know we're right. You're falling apart, Donald, breaking down right in front of our eyes. According to all polling, a Biden-Trump general election would be close. Tens of thousands of votes here and there would make the difference. So the power of the Lincoln Project is even bigger than you think. Ads that swing even a small percentage of voters will be huge. And by most accounts, the Lincoln Project is doing better than that. Donald Trump knows it, and because of the ads and all of his other problems, Trump is reportedly infuriated and increasingly unhinged. By the way, one of Donald Trump's biggest supporters in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, recently had her hypocrisy thrown back in her face. Border Patrol apprehensions be between porch of entry at the southwest border of terrorists. Terrorist. And I have to say, it is pretty rich hearing the gentleman from Georgia express her concern about terrorism when she literally was selling defund the FBI t-shirts. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. The most popular was from Crazy Clown 2650 who wrote, if MTG was so concerned about crimes against women, then why does she support Trump's crimes against women? Good question. The answer is that MTG wants to be Donald Trump's running mate. <laughs> Imagine what the Lincoln Project would do with that. I look forward to seeing your comments about the latest Lincoln Project ads against Donald Trump. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.